Okay, let's have a look around this, uh, well, a drive rather, of this rather one-off um, Land Rover 110, 1983, galvanised chassis, 200 TDI conversion, galvanised bulkhead, galvanised everything basically. Um, oil light ignition light come up properly. Starts beautifully, doesn't need any heat this one at all. Off we go, showing 202,000 miles, which uh, I think the speedo is about the only original part of the vehicle, so everything else has been, uh, been replaced. Um, <coughs> engine, gearbox, axles chassis, most of the body, the lot, and I think it's done about 100,000 miles according to the uh, um, the articles and stuff that we have on the car since it was redone. And it starts beautifully, I've done now 50 miles in this and it performed really really nicely. I'll tell you about it. Engine wise it's absolutely spot on, it was a brand new Land Rover supplied 200 TDI engine, not a, um, you know, not one out of a scrapper or anything. Uh, and the f it was the full conversion kit that came in a crate with all the uh, the right mountings and everything like that, and all the ancillaries. Uh, and the gearbox was uh, replaced at the same time. Oh, big tractor coming, we'll have to pull in. Now at 100,000 miles ish, it's just uh, nicely running. According to the previous owner, it's just recently had a cam belt on it. It's only had two owners since uh, the late 90s. The chap who restored it and um, the last owner's had it for the last eight years. Oh, the steering will be the original one as well. Nips along nicely, nice boost from the uh, from the turbo. Clutch is nice, gearbox is good. There is a bit of play in the uh, in the drivetrain, whether it's the uh, the gearbox or possibly um, uh, diff UJs or something. There is a bit of play if you back off. There's a bit of uh, bigger bit of backlash in the transmission, um, but no sort of major clunks. Steering's nice, it's not one that uh, wanders all over the road where you've got to fight it in a straight line. Obviously power steering. This one's also got discs all round. Um, both axles were uh, were replaced at the time the, uh, the decision was taken to fit a disc rear axle. Obviously the spare wheel's on the bonnet at the minute but it could easily be um, put in the back. All the instruments are working, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, um, clock and uh, speedo, all working as they should. It doesn't get hot. Apart from, say, the uh, slight backlash in the transmission, there's no unpleasant uh, rattles, squeaks, groans or anything like that. It's all a nicely sorted vehicle, really. It's got a radio CD, but as I recall, the um, I think some of the speak the the speaker connection is poor. So it's, uh, um, just cuts in and out a little bit the uh, the radio. Pulls well from very low revs. You know, just get some of the job.
say all I can really criticise. There is some uh, some backlash in the drivetrain. Gearbox synchros are nice. No problems with those at all. Our motor works. In fact, there's a, a modicum of heat coming out of there. Quite good. Especially as the uh, it's cold. Oh yes, nice heat actually. Better than it. Not bad at all. That's about it. I think my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118907 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further info. Thank you.